This question has a little bit of a story to it, but it could not matter less. They are just giving us an equation and some points to plug in. So we're gonna use my favorite strategy, plug points into equations. And if you wanna boil the entire SAT, PSAT math section down to one idea, this is it. Plug points into equations. Recognize very quickly when that's what they give you. It's very clear we have an equation. And anytime they talk about points like this, where it's just like A equals a number, X equals a number, that they're giving you at least half of a point. We think of points as having X and Y coordinates, but sometimes depending on the circumstances, we only get one of the two numbers or we only care about one of the two. So that's okay. The point is we have an equation, we have some variables, and we have some numbers that we can plug in for some of the variables. And so basically let your robot brain take over at this point. We would just take our 46 equals 2a plus 2b and we have a is 9 so put that in and yes if this were the real test I would have my scrap paper writing this down. I know I can do it in my head. I know I can use the calculator but honestly it's much safer to just kind of do it very quickly on the page and see your work. So now let's follow some arithmetic. Let's simplify as much as we can. 2 times 9 is 18. So the first thing whenever we have an algebra is we want to do arithmetic. We want to see if there's anything we can just kind of condense and simplify. But at this point, we can't move any further with arithmetic because we can't combine that 18 with the 2b. And this is where algebra itself actually takes over, where we need to move things away from our variable and get the variable alone. So when we do work on just one side of an equation, that's arithmetic. That's what this step was right here. But now we're going to subtract 18 from both sides. So that way we can do some algebra to move the 18 to the other side of the equation, we wanna get B alone. So when we do that, we get um, uh, the, the 18 minus 18 is zero, so that just leaves 2B on this side. And then here's where I would use my handheld calculator, 46 minus 18 is 28. Now we continue doing algebra, right? Because B is still not alone. Now it's got a two attached, but before the 18 was attached through addition. So we use subtraction to make it go away. Now the two is attached through multiplication. So we use division to make it go away. So we divide both sides by two. Two divided by two is one. So now all we have on the right side is one B, so just B. And then 28 divided by two is 14. And that is our final answer for this question. So. Notice, it, it talks about a parallelogram, but I would not consider this a geometry question. This is an algebra question. The story is irrelevant. We are given an equation, we are given at least half of a point, and we need to find the other half. So the more you can think about plug points into equations, the less you're gonna be bothered when there's a story kind of underlying it. A lot of people get distracted or overwhelmed by those stories, they rarely matter. Just think about points and equations, plug things in whenever you can, and most of the time you're gonna be able to start that question confidently and then just go through the motions of algebra to get the answer that you need.